In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add XDC to Trezor. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. Trezor hardware wallets support XDC as a network. However, it is important to understand that you will likely need to use a third-party wallet application to manage it, rather than doing it inside of Trezor Suite directly. So in this video, this is what I'm going to be talking about, how to set up and choose a compatible third-party wallet to use in conjunction with your Trezor hardware wallet. Most people will opt for MetaMask and it is the one that I chose to use as an example. So essentially, you will be managing XDC within MetaMask, but it is going to be connected to Trezor. According to all of the research that I did, this is going to be the main way to connect them both together. So plug in your Trezor hardware wallet into your computer or a mobile device. Once it is connected and properly set up, follow the initial setup steps if you haven't already, you will be able to choose a compatible third-party wallet. As I've said before, a lot of people like MetaMask, but other wallets also exist that support XDC, such as the Warabi wallet. So install the MetaMask extension. Usually this will be done to a web browser and you will create an account. You will find the option to connect the hardware wallet when you tap on account at the top and over here you will see hardware wallet. If your Trezor is connected to your PC, you will get a pop-up giving permissions to MetaMask and then exporting the address here. Now, all of the accounts will be added onto MetaMask and your Trezor is going to be properly set up within it. Now, all that you have to do is choose the option to manage XDC within MetaMask. It is simple to do and you just need to choose the option to add the XDC network to the third-party wallet. Once this is done, Trezor will work in conjunction with the third-party wallet of your choice, in this example, MetaMask, which consequently has the XDC wallet for you to send and receive. I hope I was able to help you on how to add XDC to Trezor. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.